Hi there, and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe? It is fountain pen day, and I have a fountain pen for you. And this is the Pilot Custom 823. And this is not a unboxing or anything, but it's actually a one year review. So this pen was purchased uh, December 30th of last year. So it is a one year mark. And I just wanted to go through this because I have not done a review or an unboxing of this, but just wanted to show you this lovely, lovely pen. So um, it, I'm just going to give you a few specs on it just in case you're not familiar with it. But since you're watching this video, you probably are familiar and maybe are curious as to what this pen performs like. Um, this one is the Custom A23 with a fine nib in the amber color. I don't know if you can tell, I tried to put the white background so you could see that. It is super dark. It has a the diamine Oxford blue in it, and I've been putting uh, diamine writer's blood in it as well, and a very nice wet flowing nib, even with a fine. And so it's a, a wonderful pen. I think one of the problems that uh, my husband and I had was trying to figure out which color we liked better. It only comes in two colors, which is amber and smoke, and both of them are just just beautiful colors. Very classic body, like that cigar shaped. It has a nice size clip with a ball at the end, which again is is kind of a classic styling with the pilot logo and the stars here. And then the nib is just, I mean, it's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful nib. So I don't know if you can see that there. Well, kind of blurry. Let me, let me get that in focus. All right. So um, just a very pretty nib. And it is a, it's meant to be a workhorse. And hopefully I can give you a few pros and cons with this. Now, I do have to tell you, it is nicely weighted. I wish I could show you how it is. It's 29 grams, which is a, a pretty nice, not, not heavy, but a nice balanced weight in your hand. It is all resin. It's actually very smooth to the touch. You can post it. And really the best specs I've found have been on Goulet. And so you can check out the specs there. The nib is kind of like a number six size and it is 14 karat gold. It's all gold. Um, when you get this pen, it does come in a, a nice satin line box with a, a good size bottle of Namiki Blue ink, which is a wonderful ink as well. So some of the pros, the nib is just beautiful. In fact, I'll, I'll just write some of those pros down. How's that? That way you can see the writing sample. So this is the This is not a flex nib, but this is a fine, and I'm writing on just copy paper, so this is not anything that, um, you know, I know it's probably like sacrilegious to write on copy paper, but that's kind of what where I go most often. And uh, the fine nib uh, works great. It's smooth like butter. A lot of my three looks like a two. A lot of times people, like when you're reading reviews, they will compare this lovely pen. So I'll put that compared to the Pelican M800 series. Or uh, I have seen it compared to the Mont Blanc. 149 and it's also been compared to like the uh, sailor king of pens i was trying to remember what it was but this is very very smooth so smooth and buttery now i am a dip pen writer so i actually like scratch I like the feedback. Uh, this does not have much feedback at all, even for a Japanese fine. 
And so this is um, a 230, I'll, I'll put that down. It is a fine nib. And this has been used now nonstop for a year. This is a very well-balanced pen. So those are, that's another balanced, either posted like I have it or unposted. And I actually prefer it more unposted just because of my small hands. And so super balanced and very comfortable. It writes with uh, just a little bit of pressure and um, I think Stephen Brown has a video with a medium flex, which I would love to get my hands on that because I do love to flex. And so I think that would be a really good addition to what I have. So writes well. And it is now one of the things that when you're reading in reviews, the ink capacity is the big draw. <laughs> Get it, what I said. And when it uh, draws, it is a vacuum, uh, vacuum filler. So it's vacuum filled and does a great job pulling up about 2.2 mils of ink. Now, that brings me to the cons actually I'm going to put writes well and um, this one does not skip some people say that there's skips sometimes in the skips I'll, I'll tell you it just depends on how fast you're writing so that can be a issue if you like write really really fast and I'll do two writing samples one where I'm writing slow one where I can write a little bit faster so now uh, and I should put pluses those are the pros and now I'll do the cons. The cons are because of the filling system, the vacuum filling system, it's actually difficult to clean. All right, um, you have to, if you use the same kind of ink, it's really not an issue, but uh, I believe some sometimes the ink will just kind of maybe stay put. Also, because of the filling system, the low level of ink can be a little bit problematic. So what do I mean by that? When you have low level inks, you're going to need to pretty much take the ink out and then refill completely so that you have a nice good fill. Um, but if you're running low, you might actually end up having like a hard start or something along those lines. But this is a demonstrator. I know you can't tell on here. You can actually see through it. So you should be able to see where your ink level is, which I think is, is wonderful. So uh, another con is that it's only offered in three nib sizes. So three nib sizes. Uh, here in the U.S., and that is the fine, the medium, and the broad. So I would like to see if I can find out if there's that medium soft, kind of the medium flex um, nib. I would like to see if maybe I can figure out. I know some people have said that they can change out the nib in this, but then you're going to void out any kind of a warranty. So um, it is wonderful on performance, beautiful classic design. And the question that my husband asked was, would it be replaced if it was lost or broken? And the answer is yes, it would, because it is really a workhorse and is a beautiful pen. So it's kind of a go-to pen. Here's a I'm going to go ahead and do a, a writing sample and then hopefully this was helpful because sometimes you have pens that you open up and you're super excited to get them, but then you don't know what kind of performance they've had over some time. And after a year, if this pen got lost or broken, I um, kind of shudder to think about that, but it would be definitely something that I would want to replace or um, get, you know, maybe in a different color. I don't know, but this amber sure is beautiful. So here's a writing sample.
Okay, and it does not have any skips at all, just writes very smoothly on terrible paper. And here's a fast one. Now, there was a little bit of a skip here, but that is me actually picking my hand up. It wasn't the pen skipping, because down here, I even went a little bit faster and writing horribly, but the pen stays up with me. So, I hope that you found this review helpful, um, kind of an update helpful. If you are thinking about this lovely pen, um, if you read the reviews on it, people will tell you don't wait. Uh, my husband and I were also talking about this. If we had to do our pen collections over again, we would really put our money towards pilots instead of just kind of testing things here and there. We've actually wasted a bunch of money on some pens that we don't necessarily use. But the pilots, for myself and for him, we just keep coming back to them. They are reliable. They start, this one especially has a wonderful ink capacity. And so it is a win-win. So if you are thinking about a good pen that's going to last you, this is a very nice option. And it looks lovely to boot. Hopefully this was helpful, and if you'd like, you can check out some of my other videos. I have a Pilot Falcon with a medium fine. It's a semi-flex nib. It's beautiful, and I absolutely love, love, love that pen. Also, I have a Pilot Metropolitan, and you can um, check out that one as well. That one is on the very low end, like a beginner pen, but it is also another one of those pens that I've had for like four or five years now, and I use it quite a bit. So Pilots are kind of that brand that you know is very reliable and you just can't lose on it. So hopefully you like this video. Check out the other ones and I'll post the links below. Until next time, bye.